Hello everyone and welcome. We're playing some. Finally, we, we got the uh, internet was uh, disconnected for about a week, so finally catching up, uh, seeing what it's like in the new expansion, and trying to climb for December. And what do we have here? We've, we're playing with our warlock decks. It's been really successful recently. Sorry about the sound. I'm gonna have to try fi fixing the sound. Uh, we're playing, facing a paladin. Well, I think we may keep all of this. Flesh giant, I'd like to keep in my mulligan because the first two turns are going to be playing the quest, hero power, usually. Um, using the touch of Nathrazoom is also a good idea against paladin because they're going to have lots of cheap minions which they're going to want to buff and uh, pretty useful to have that let's just have a look at our decks you can see we're on a nice win streak at the moment okay, it's a 10 game win streak with this deck yes um, right we'll, we'll look at the deck later so i think we keep all of this and that's resume because we're facing a paladin and uh the backfire is good for card draw and, and self damage, so let's get on with it. Okay, so they're also playing a uh, quest paladin here. Interesting, okay. We've got a secret, oof, gotta be a bit careful. Do we use a coin to bait it out? No reason to rush it, only when we've got a decision to make, then we'll have to use the coin. To test out if it's oh my yog, okay. Um, right, let's see if we can sort out this sound on the, on the game here. Right, okay. I think I think the tempo is everything here. Yeah, we're just gonna bring this out. Oh, right, okay, well, that solves that problem, so it's not on my yog. Um, I think this helps preserve the 5 2. We've got backfire, which is going to fill our hand up a bit. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if he's got one. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's not much I can do about that. <coughs> I, do, I really want to save my my uh, soul rend for an AOE. I could use drain soul here. Um, maybe. Looks like we're gonna have to trade. We're gonna have to trade something off here. Do we? Do we? Uh, tap. We're gonna do something anyway. So I think we might as well. Um, yeah, we use a drain soul to take out one of them, and well, I think we'll go face probably. It's almost definitely gonna trade the two two into the five two. They don't have that much removal. Paladins, especially buff paladin. I assume he's going to just trade and so might as well get the extra five damage face. I think I'm going to focusing. My focus here is kind of. I, I want to win quickly before he completes his quest on one hand because that could be a nasty quest, especially if he buffs up his. Um, his silver hand recruits or his dudes. Um, mm, so we'll play that for four. That'll help us complete our quest exactly. So it's just efficient for the group, um, quest completion. And um, we get rid of the one three with our other drain soul. Okay, it's so looking good so far. We've got empty board. We've got through one leg of our quest so far. He's taking a long time to complete his quest though. 
which is interesting. Maybe it's just got a bad hand, or it's it's a deck which isn't just one drops. You can see he's got Alliance Bannerman. So it, it could be it could be sort of like a hybrid, sort of like a mid range, not just only. Uh, I've seen some decks which the Paladin basically just has one drops in the whole deck and they finish the quest extremely quickly besides the one or two um uh the legendary which gives them divine oh here he is <laughs> yeah that's the one yeah besides that one uh i think there's another couple of um minions they have which can supplement the pads in silver hand recruits Okay, so right, so we're on, we're on five after this. Um, we can't play that if we tap. We could play this by itself now, and if we tap, we can still play the giant. So maybe we we'll just go with that. Play the giant here. Yeah. Right, so that counters is five five, which is nice. We've got still two soul runs in hand. We've got a null. We're approaching. Uh, we are approaching ten cards left, which is going to activate our uh, quill ball thingy, which does six damage off the bench with life steal. Um, I think we've got too many cards to play backfire with next turn, unfortunately. Play back file. We're gonna burn a card straight away. So maybe maybe we play another card and then play. Hmm, interesting. Interesting. He could have killed my giant then with the five five and the weapon. He didn't want to. Let's hope that comes back to bite him. Do we tap before doing this? Let's see. Let's quick calculation two. Then we're gonna have eight. Then we'll play three with a backfire. So we could we could just open up a backfire. I, th I think we just tap him. Not in that much of a rush. I think this works out really nicely. We can clear the board too with soul rend. That brings us down to ten cards left. We burnt. Uh, shame burnt in the throne. Bit of a shame, especially seeing as we had the full hand. Um, Truth is, a battle master here could be uh, lethal, but uh, it's probably going to it's probably going to trade it off. I'm guessing here. He has to. He can't risk the, the battle master coming down. Um, it's looking very good, but I'm a bit worried about his quest. Uh, once once he gets, oh my goodness. Ooh, that's not good. That's not good. Eeks. Ouch. And he's got five mana left as well. Yeah, my goodness. I don't know why I buffed that one. Oh, because he probably wants me to remove that one. <coughs> so we have to put the taunt down, no question. I think we're going to put both taunts down. This way. I think I slightly misordered that. I should have played the raised dead first. What should we do here? We're definitely going to play the flesh giant. We're definitely going to play the other taunt because he's got 17 damage. And I think he's probably got some sort of buffs which he can use quest completion. Gives him two attack, which is another 10 damage. That's 27 damage. Minus six is 21. <coughs> I think we have to remove some of this. I think we can. With the knoll and the bristle back and the taunt, that's two, five, six. Yeah, this works out perfectly. Yep, so we just heal up here. Maybe we should we have killed the four three. I, I'm just a bit worried he's gonna complete the quest and buff up his uh, sort of hand recruits anyway. Maybe 
Yeah, this way with a 5-2 presents more more of a threat. It's a bit risky. Right? Ooh, conviction. Ouch, 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 ouch. Ouchie. Okay, so that takes out one tool. The five and two takes out the second. Oh, no, 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 no. Have we lost? Please, no. Two threes take out a six, plus a six takes out a six. He's got 10, 13 damage left. Should be okay. I don't think he's, there's anything else. Well, another conviction would have done it, but obviously he doesn't have it because he's just not playing it. Interesting how he's not trying to clear my board. Maybe he couldn't. Yep, yeah, looking good. Aha, uh -huh. I've just noticed something. He's got three mana left and he seems to be roping. Look at the top right hand corner over there. Yes, it looks like a Russian name and uh, generally the Russians are the ones most toxic uh, in my experience. I think personal against all Russians without exception, but uh, let's style a bit. Yeah. Okay, good. Nice. Okay, right, so let's get on with the next round. Uh, I have a quick look actually at my records. We're on a very big win streak now. Let's double check. Yeah, um, here we go. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, it's a sixty-three percent win rate. But as you can see, we've, we've won a lot of games since the new expansion. This ten days ago that was previous expansion. Still, new expansion all from one day ago. Win, 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 win. We've actually won every single game. Five, six, seven, eight. Wow, 11 wins. You know what that means? That means if we win the next one, we're going to get that very, very hard to get 12 wins in a row. Well, let's... Hmm. Hmm. Let's keep recording then. And this is with a deck with no new cards. This is actually all cards from... This is exactly the same deck I've played the last expansion without any changes at all and in fact it's the same deck as I've played in two expansions ago the only difference is I've got a hull breaker um, in the deck instead of I can't remember was it instead of I can't remember what I replaced okay anyway here we go facing a shaman or phenomen man I hope that's not Fino the Grandmaster Gee. That would not be the best one to face at this point. Okay. Let's see if they, ooh, right, is this elemental shaman? Right, okay. I should be able to manage elemental shaman. Yeah, I've got soul rend, that should be okay. Um, let's tap and uh let's see up to phone cliff could have been more efficient but i want to get on board as fast as i can here against an elemental shaman i think i could have done that differently no i'm happy with that play i'm happy with that play i don't need the extra two damage most likely because i've got like an aoe of five damage Here we go. Final boss. Okay, raise there. That could be good. We just need a big drop. Oh dear, we're not drawing anything big here. I mean, two raised deads would be amazing if we had like an, an Etheron flesh giant. Even, even a Null would be good. This is an elemental shaman. 
This is a Volve Shaman. Oh my goodness. That's such a swingy deck. I could easily lose this. Ouch. Okay, so let's tap for free here. Discount that. Kill the one two and we'll we'll draw I think. Yeah, that's the idea. We want to leave a bit of room in our hand. So if we've got a Netheron, we tap and play a Netheron. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, he's doing it. Okay, we've got some really good removal here. This could actually clear um, most evolved boards. The two soul lens. We don't have much choice here. Like positioning. Uh, uh, yeah, we've got to play the Neophyte just as a minion. Put it in the middle in case we get Battle Master. So we can uh, buff up the five and the three, so we get extra eight damage. I, I don't think we play raised dead here. It looks like we're gonna have to float some mana, I think. Which is really annoying. I do not want to kill off the tall guy either. So I do want to have something to pl to help me deal with his massive board. He's probably gonna get next go. He's got six mana next go, so that's tiny toys, so hopefully the company of fight would have discouraged that. But there are other plays I'm sure he can do. Um, oh wow, okay, it's fantastic. Oh, of course that's a ten drop. Ah! Can I deal with that? Oh my goodness. Is that dealable? See, I, I don't have Tamsin, so there's no way I can double over spells. So this thing is a six damage. And then I could use my, my what's it called, Unstable Shadow Blast for the extra. So how am I going to do this exactly? Um, how much more m more damage do I need to take to get to my next my next um what's it called? Need six. So if I if I take three damage right like this and I do raise dead, that will complete my quest. And obviously I end up with rubbish minions, but at least I've completed my quest. I think I'm going to have to like accelerate my quest here. I'm not sure. I, I've got one massive board clear, or two potential, if I'm lucky, if he has bad evolves. Tiny token, yep, yeah, there you go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Okay, well, Soul Rend with the touch of Nathrazim is actually not too bad here. That can work. Let's, does this work? How do I get rid of that Divine Shield? Is that the best way to do it? Yeah. At least this way, I get rid of the 4 5 completely. Oh, I could have used that. Oh, Nathrazim. Yeah. 17 damage plus a weapon that's 20 maximum damage he's got next turn because i know he doesn't have any burst damage i'm assuming he's not running burst damage mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's a very tight deck uh evolve shaman so i can afford to take the extra two damage okay that's excellent that is excellent so now i've got something i can use my raise dead on oh my god Goodness. Right, so my other soul rend. Hopefully, should clear all this. This is getting extremely scary. He's used one box by Knuckles. Okay, he's trading. That's encouraging. I guess he was scared of a uh, battle master and, you know, a spell getting rid of his big taunt. Oh yeah, that's good. He played cautiously. That's excellent for me. Oh my goodness. 
He should attack with a 3 2 first before swinging. Oh, I think he did already. He left the 1 1 up. I guess he wants to get maximum damage here. Oh, that's excellent. Um, he's got a, 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 a dead minion which he can't play with. And the other one's 3 and 5. 5 lets 11. He's still got lethal. How do I get rid of this? I could get rid of two. I could definitely get rid of one of the minions. I have to draw to find an answer here. I don't think Raise Dead's going to give me anything useful. Yeah, no, obviously. I've got two Bristlebacks in, in my deck. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah let's go. Oh! Oh, there's so many ways of playing this. i got to think quickly. Uh, do I do three damage? To the 3-8. I'm going to lose my other bristle back though. Unless I tap first. Ouch. Maybe I just like go old fashioned. Just don't, don't use the soul rent here. Right. Oh. And. Um, Ah, oh dear me, <laughs> that's tricky. Oh, boner, that's scary. What, what battle cry? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, am I in trouble here? How is he doing this? Oh no, 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 no. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. I think I have to tap and use Soul Rend without burning any cards. Cause the last two cards I have in my deck are just two. Oh, I'm so lucky. Oh, no, 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 no. Yes, even better. Oh, well, well he's, he gets some armor. Oh, my goodness. Uh, do I tap first? Um, I think I tap first because I get a bristle back off this. How close am I to quest completion? If I do this, tap. Right, so now I'm going to fatigue for one next turn. I think I want to heal up. So I'm actually going to sacrifice this, then clear this board. Then put the taunt down. Next turn, I'm going to automatically complete my quest because I'm going to fatigue for one. Which means he doesn't have box by knuckles now, so his plays are much weaker as far as I know. Seven. Oh, ah, okay. Right, so here we go. So. Do we do we actually play Tams in here? I think we have to, no? We have to, yeah. That's our win condition. Right. Uh put the tool down. Play race dead first, see what we get. Ah uh, I guess we mm, that's a shame. I guess we're just not gonna play the null. Yeah, forget the null. Play two. No, we, we've got to play one near fight. We've got to tap. We have to tap. It's too much damage we're missing out on. It's an extra six damage in, in next turn. Um, we've got the tap and the four. Oh, oh my goodness. Uh, what was that? Okay. Oh, yeah. It's looking really good. Oh my goodness. Let's see, do we get the achievement? Do we get the achievement? Yes, we've done it on roll T10. <laughs> we've done it, fantastic. Woo! My goodness. <laughs> Must breathe. Must breathe. Okay. Wow. Wow. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. Let's have a look at the achievement. Here we go. And 
12, win, 12 ranked games in a row, 10 out of 10, we've done it. This is it, the hardest achievement in the game. Win 12 ranked games in a row, unbelievable. We finally managed it after, I think it's been one and a half years since this has been out. Something like that, feels like one and a half years. We got very close a couple of times, as you saw, like, we did have 11 games in a row wins um, a while back. Uh, let's just check that up again. Is there any special there? Uh, where is it? Um, <coughs> Right, win 5,000 games in ranked. We're not too far off that one. Oh, right, 10,000. Okay, forget that. Okay. I'm just want some wondering. Uh, just, just spotted that other achievement. I thought we were close to finishing it, but yeah. But that's just, that's not hard. That just takes a long time. All right, let's, let's play on. Let's see how long we can keep this win streak going. We've got one, two. Let's have a look. As you can see, one there's the last lost. That was eight days ago. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, you can see the priest was last one. You see, we've got decent win rate. We've got five win. Um, One hundred eight days ago. So that means we've been playing this deck for about three months in this format, which it takes us to the at the beginning of the previous expansion. That's right, of course, when we got the new card. Anyway. Let's go and see how far we can get here. Can we make it 13 games in a row? So, okay. See, this whole break is the one change we made to the deck since the last expansion. That's why it doesn't go back beyond 108 days, this deck. Uh, but it's probably to the last mini set, actually. This whole break was actually from the mini set. I don't think we keep that. I really don't like this card. It, it's so awkward to play. It's good in as much as it draws cards, so... You want you want card draw. Maybe the next expansion we'll get some more card draw. Hmm. Okay. It's definitely gonna be a close ish matchup. Yeah. Interesting board this is. Yeah, we just tap. Back fine, let's go. How are we going to play on an S run? We have eight. Oh, this is so annoying. I could play backfire. An S run costs one then, but the problem is I won't have enough mana and I can't use the coin because an S run won't. Then I only have nine cards in my hand. Do I play backfire and coin and then play an S run next turn? If we just play two cards this turn, so we've got the same calculation again. Play back for our next run next turn. Because we just, uh, we drew two cards this turn, we played two cards. So. he can win this if, if he just pops off he just goes very very quickly so we've got back the Grand Masters okay so we tap here and play the Netheron what else can we do I don't think we can do anything else we've got a nice raised dead here which can give us our Netheron back if he kills it of course he could sap it with a special sap card what are these cards for widgets or midgets, gadgets, cards? Can't remember what they're called. 
Okay. Um, this is awkward. This is really awkward. I might have to tempo out the one because I really want to play backfire. Uh, I, I don't see a way of doing it. Uh, three. Maybe, maybe. Nah, I can't. Mortal Curl the 2 1. Maybe I just uh, complete my quest here and then raise dead the Netheron. Oh, I can't see how to do this. You just burn a card, I guess. Hopefully nothing too good. Oh, come on. Uh, okay, we're up to 18. He's got 5 damage. The problem is I, I, I don't have an easy way of, 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 of playing a card without drawing one. I've got too much card draw here. Okay, um, we've got Bristleback coming up. You'll play it maximum two turns. Let's hope we don't burn anything too good here. Uh, Baron Scavenger and Flesh Giant and Null are the ones I do not want to burn. Anything else, not too bad. So that's, f um, so that's five cards out of my remaining 13. Okay, so it's got a moderate chance of burning something which we don't really need. Okay, Gizmo, that's what they're called. Oh no. Oh, well, that's actually quite good because that actually kills it. That kills it, that goes into my raised dead pool. Because this way I get to play it next turn, whereas otherwise I wouldn't. Oh dear, I don't think I can survive this. I've got to play Soul Rend now. Okay, that's not too bad. Soul Rend, raised dead. Oh, one minute. How many minions have died so far? We've got a Hellbreaker in the pool, that's for sure. Okay, now let's try to raise dead. Oh, come on. Not the other one. Well, it's not going to be a problem if we win with fatigue. Oh, no, really? Oh, dude, not looking good. Not looking good at all. He's close to quest completion. That means he's going to put his. What's it called down? So we've got a Netheron. We're going to have to burn a card, play a Netheron. Play another card. Okay, so we can heal ourselves there. I don't think we can lose from this turn. Spy Master Scabs. Once you play Scabs, that's a 7 7, which has got stealth. I need a way to kill it, and I don't have it. I could have a way of killing something through stealth in. Should I play Netheron first, should I? No, I'm just going to complete quest first. I'm going to complete quest. And this one's not going to save me. I need to heal up as much as I can here. Oh, problem. I didn't complete my quest. Okay, but at least I got some stuff on board which can heal me. Right, okay, 7 plus 2 is going to be 9, that's 18, if he's got Battle Master, plus the Gizmo, <coughs> 21 damage. Very interesting. 21 damage, yeah, I can't stop this. I can't stop this. Uh, I may as well tap, because he's got lethal either way. Um, is there a way of getting out of this? The taunt, you can just sap. There's no way I can win this. No, what a shame. What a shame. Yeah, the taunt's not going to help me. Because he's just going to sap it. 
just gonna hope he doesn't have Battle Master. I'm pretty sure he does. Yeah. Oh dear, that was bad of him as well. Not that it makes much of a difference. Um, this completes my quest at least. So, he just needs to get rid of the taunt, which I'm completely helpless to do anything about. Yeah. Well, let's just check if he's got Battle Master. And yeah. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, but yeah, but fantastic. We've got 12 wins in a row, and we finally lose the game. Let's see how easy it is to get to um, Diamond 5. Nice. So at the moment, technically, this has a. What is it? 100% win rate, but we just lost the game. So it's 1 in 13 loss. I think one of our losses was in this expansion, was it? No, I think we won all the games in this expansion. Let's check that out. So 12 out of 13 is technically a 92% win rate. Very nice. Okay, let's have a look at the deck. Right, okay, so we've got obviously Demon Seed, which is a quest, and we've got self. Well, we got, we're going to draw a lot of cards. Uh, big big plays with like a Netheron. We could, the idea is Baron Scavengers and Bristleback. We're going to be drawing cards a lot, soldering things out of our deck, which helps us with the. Uh, which activates the Bristleback and the Scavenger. We've got some healing, Nathrazim, Drain Soul. Uh, we've got our big drops. Um, this is also an interesting uh, card, the Hull Breaker. I put it in because it draws two cards and does self damage. So I thought, why not? It fits with the deck. And you've got the big drops, obviously, the Flesh Giants, Knolls, Nathrazim. You've seen this deck before, you know how it plays. This is my version. It's, uh, yeah, it's fantastic. It works really well in the current meta. I don't know how the meta is going to change. As you can see, that's our first loss. And we've got 63% win rate with it. But in this expansion, it's, uh, as I said, the 93% win rate. Look at all those wins. Very, very nice. Just move it up. Yeah, there you, can, you can see all the wins. All. You can see where the wins finished there. Uh, Okay. Okay. There you go. There's a loss. You can see that the last game we played eight days ago, which was uh, before the expansion. Okay. So that's that. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this deck and uh, celebrating with me. This is a massive achievement. Ten ranked moves in a row. Sorry, 12 ranked wins in a row. That's level 10 of the achievement. Okay, it's really nice. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, please leave a nice, nice comment, please. Uh, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. And bye for now.